There is only one perfect solution that will close the trash. Trick our team. Hello there, everyone. I'm Crazy Caleb, and hello, I'm back. I took a little bit of a break, but today we are taking a look at Unicodes. So what we need to do is we need to identify each of the four symbols on the module and enter in their Unicode. It's important to note that each time you enter in a character, as represented by down here, it has a four-digit code, but the way how you separate the codes from one another is you have to enter in the U+. Now, as you can see, there's no way of essentially uh, typing back, so you've got to be careful of what you type. Well, let's take a look. So, before we even take a look at the rules, which will determine the order of which we press them in, we need to figure out what our symbols are and what their codes are. So, this one, right here. Now, the hardest part about this module is, of course, describing what the symbols look like. Now, this one, I would say, is sort of like a sideways, or like an uh, X that's been rotated 90 degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and like two of the cor and like two of the parts are sort of uh, curved. Per se. So we can find that symbol right here, and let's copy this code. And let's leave it down there. And the the numbers when we get up to the rules, it says the order is one four two three two or four three two one etc etc. These numbers are based off the position of which they're in. So in this case, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. Simple as that, just reading order. Now, we have the three asterisks right here. Just to make sure there aren't any similar ones, because a couple of them are similar. Right here, copy this code. Next up, and you might be actually see quite a few familiar symbols for those of you who have done keypad a lot. This is the paragraph, or for footnotes, and a lot of these are actually from a lot of different modules. Um, like I've seen a lot that are from arithmologic keypad, uh, complex keypads. So for those of you who do look familiar with one another, um, even Boolean keypads sometimes, uh, it's you, you can kind of uh, reference it from there. But a couple of them are different. From what I've seen. So, we have the sort of smiley face. Now, taking a look here, these two have are look very similar, but this one has a tongue, as I would describe it. It's sort of sticking its tongue out. So this is our correct one because it is sticking our tongue out. So let's copy this code. And finally, I would describe these as sort of like, maybe like headphones, two circles uh, connected to one another right here, or something that like maybe like a doctor would use their wearing, sort of. Okay, so now that we found our codes, let's go up here and figure out what order we have to submit them in. So, if I let Bob, two batteries are present, and, force and, and the four symbols contain at least one zero and at least two Bs, well, let's check for lit Bob. Lit Bob? Nope. So, that rule's already off. Because that's sort of your unicorn, which you enter in 1, 2, 3, 4. If the third symbol had an A in it, yes, yes it did. The third symbol right here has an A in it. So the order is 3, 4, 2, 1. So we're going to enter this in 1, 2, 3, and a 4. And that's how we're going to enter it in. But we always start off each uh, hexadecimal code with a U plus, so let's do that. So U plus 6, 0, 2, alpha, and that's the end of that code. Next up, U plus 2, 6, 0, alpha. That's the end of that code. They will always have four characters within them. Next up, U plus 2, 4, 2, 0, 4, 2. 2, 0, 4, 2. And finally, U plus Foxtrot Bravo 21. Plus Foxtrot Bravo 20. And then when I enter in the 1, it will tell you if, I, if you're right or wrong. That is correct. Good job. And just like that is a solved module. Let's take a look at another one. Maybe get down into some deeper rules, perhaps. 
And of course the screen decides to blink out on me. So keeping them in the order and making sure that you do read them in order is important. Like say here, because it often relates to the other symbols or has rules that correlate to other symbols. So this one is sort of like an L, but the top of the L is curved a little bit right here. This one is, I guess I would describe this as like a pinwheel and they're spinning clockwise. However, that's from a uh, Boolean keypad, so that's not present. Um, like there's two of them that look very similar, but one is spinning clockwise and one is spinning counterclockwise. And that's the way I can differentiate them apart. Next up is an alpha echo yeah, combined together. And finally, give me a second. This one, I guess I would describe this as it's a line in between the, the infinity sign, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like there's it's an item of some sort, but I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. So it's right here. Alright, and now let's determine our order. First off, let's check for a lip bob. Is that even remotely present on the bob? No, no it is not. The third symbol has an A in it. No, it does not this time. Uh, if the second symbol has a 1 in it, no, it does not have a 1 in it. And when it's, consi when it's talking about the rules, it's considering everything everything except the U pluses. The U pluses are its own thing. Um, once you enter it, like, once they're present, it's just they don't matter for the rules. If the number of ports is odd, XOR, the number of Ds, Es, and Fs in the symbols is even. First off, let's check for the number of ports. We have one. We just have one port. So the number of ports is odd in this case. So that's true. So we need this statement to be false in order for this to be true. XOR being, uh, it's true if only one statement is true, but not both. So taking a look, let's count the uh, number of Ds, Es, and Fs. So we have one F, that's one. We have a D, two. We have a D, three. And that's it. So the number of ports is odd, that is true. And the number of Ds, Es, and Fs in the symbols is even. No. So this is a true false statement, so this applies here. And the order is 2, 4, 1, 3. We're going to enter in 2. We're going to enter in 4. We're going to enter in a 1. And we're going to enter in 3. So now, U plus, 0, 5, 8, delta, U plus, 0, 2, 3, 9, U plus, 0, 1, 7, F, and U plus, 0, 4, delta 4. That is correct. Good job. Smiley face. Neat. Let's take a look at one more example. These rules are pretty simple. Um, however, I will go over a couple of them because a lot of them are very similar to one another. Uh, for example, if the first uh, uh, symbol's hexadecimal value is greater than 1 FFF, what exactly does that mean? That means this value needs to be, the hexadecimal value has to have at least a 2 in it in order for it to be greater as its first, as its first digit. Um, other than that, otherwise, it is not considered uh, greater than so, just another important thing to note out. Um, a lot of these rules are pretty straightforward. Um, if any of the symbols contain a G, uh, as you can clearly tell, this is obviously a joke rule because the number 7 doesn't exist, and clearly there are no Gs present in any, in any code whatsoever. If that's a joke rule, you don't have to worry about that one. The serial number contains A, P, C, D, E, or F, and the first and second symbols contain uh, all of the ones that appear in the serial number. In this case, if there was an A in the serial number, and there at least, and the first and second symbols did have A present in their uh, hexadecimal code, um, then the order would be 4, 1, 2, 3. 
the number of digits from 0 to 9 is less than the number of digits from A to F. That's a simple comparison. Um, if all the symbols, when all concatenated, uh, contain any out of the pairs, 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D, 5B, 6F. So let's say we combine everything. Let's get rid of all the U's here um, and show exactly what this rule means. So now, now that we have all of our symbols concatenated together, we need to find the specific order. 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D, 5B, or 6F. Are any of those present anywhere on this little string right here? Let's see. There is a 4 delta present, so that rule would automatically be true, etc, etc. And if the symbol contains only letters or only numbers, which very rarely happens, but it can, no doubt, and that's pretty much all the only rules that you really need to worry about. So let's solve this last module we have here. So now this one is sort of a Yankee that sort of, I guess, loops around at the bottom. That would be the way I would describe it. And don't judge me on freaking the way I describe it. You guys have to deal with it, all right? Next up, we have the kitty, as, as known very well by the regular Bell and Vanilla keypad. This one I would describe as an upside-down S. It literally looks like an upside-down S, so that's right here. I guess I would describe it as a uh, Charlie, with when at the bottom it sort of curves around a little bit at the bottom. It's another way of describing it. I really don't care. And finally we have the L again. That little L with the vent curve. So now let's figure out our order. If there's a lip bob indicator, check. No, no there isn't, so that rule is already gone. The third symbol has an A in it. No, it has a C, not an A. If the second symbol has a 1, no, it does not. The number of ports is odd. Let's check. 1, 2. No, it is not odd. And the number of D's, E's, and F's even. No. Because we only have one F and none of the other letters. So that is odd, so that's not true. If the number of odd digits in the symbols is greater than 5, let's check. And when it means in the symbols, it means all of them. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's exactly 5. However, odd digits include 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, Bravo and Delta, and Foxtrot. So let's not forget that Foxtrot is also an option here. So that gives us 6, so it is greater than 5, and that's our order. So we have our order of uh, 1, 2, 4. Just like that, that's what we're going to work with here. So now, let's enter in U plus. 0, 1, 9, 4. U plus. 0, 4, 6, Charlie. U plus. 0, 1, 7, F. And finally, U plus. 0, 3, Charlie, 2. That is correct. Good job. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'm not going to say it this time. Bye-bye.